Hello. Um, the topic we'll be discussing today is what is known as Megan's Law, which is a law um, created in 1994 in the wake <coughs> of the rape and murder of, of May, Megan Kine. And, and it establishes that um, sex offenders should uh, register and have their own information on the uh, Megan's Law website. Uh, we have uh, the belief that um, California should disband the use of its version of Megan's Law. I believe, I believe that Megan's Law is an abridgment of, of the constitutional right forbidding cruel and unusual punishment on three grounds. That it is one of the few laws that produces collateral damage to the people surrounding the offender. It lumps multiple different offender types and crimes under one banner or, and then posts their information up for everyone to see, oftentimes inviting violence and harassment. And the provisions forcing uh, offenders to, um, the, the provisions setting living restrictions on offenders is uh, oftentimes kind of to banishing due to the oftentimes very strict um, limitations. As for, the, as for the collateral damage, one of the main um, people affected by these laws is not the offender itself, but oftentimes their spouses and their children. According to the American Journal of Criminal Justice, children of uh, people on the registry experience adverse consequences, including stigmatization and differential treatment by teachers and classmates, and more than half had experienced ridicule, teasing, depression, anxiety, fear, or anger. Okay. So in a law which was originally put up to go and defend children, the, the fact that it is now <coughs> cause, causing undue stress to children is, is is un unconsciousable. Um, neighbors also suffer from this collateral damage effect in that oftentimes properties become unsellable. Um, one, um, one man, and, um, a 52-year-old 50 man from Wisconsin claiming, claimed that the neighbor could not find a realtor to sell his house because they wouldn't, would, have to, would have had to disclose that was on the registry. So I had to sell it without a realtor, or he had to sell it without a realtor. He was upset that the house was worth less because of me. The neighbor tried to sell his house, but the potential buyers canceled off after learning that there was a registered sex offender a few houses down. So the registry becomes, oh, has an area of effect, affecting everyone, not only in the family, but in the vicinity. And having people punished by, having people punished for crimes that they did not commit and were only in proximity to someone who did commit a crime um, is unconstitutional. There is also the, um, there's also the, pro the problem of the differentiation. The law is far too broad. In many states, um, the term sex offender can cover anyone, including um, juveniles convicted of any sexual offense, including consensual teenage sex, public urination and other nonviolent crimes. And all of them get put under the child molestation banner and it oftentimes invites harass harassment. Um, what, one um, offender, a 40-year-old, 40, 40 47-year-old, according to the Justice Policy Journal, uh, um, he claimed that his, once his landlord found out he was on the red street, he sent a picture, pic, Sorry. Um, once he found out, uh, once he found out he was on the red street, he sent a picture to of him to his mother and his uncle and threatened them if they did not move out. And he was harassed by his, his him and his family was harassed by phone and letters. The, um, 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 the, the provisions. I think I lost it. Oh. Um, the um, offenders are oftentimes unfairly 
um, restricted. Uh, according to a, cri uh, a just criminal justice study, the collateral consequences of sex offender resident restrictions, about 44% reported that they were unable to live with family members, 57% said that affordable housing was in short supply, and 60% 60, 60 reported emotional distress resulting from housing restrictions. In Indiana, 26% of sex offenders surveyed were unable to return to their homes after being released from prison. 37% were unable to live with family, and almost one third reported that a landlord refused to rent them or renew a lease. Yeah. And, we, and I believe that by repealing this, these laws, we would be able to dispel, dis dispel these, these effects. And they would, um, and it would also aid in, if we were to do this, all these, <coughs> these unconstitutional effects would um, 